Hi, are you confused about iCloud, PhotoStream, how to move your videos and pictures onto your PC? Well, I know I was, and it's taken me a little while to work it out and discover all the different options. So I thought I'd share my experiences. So if you look under settings and then iCloud and then photos, you will see the several options. iCloud Photo Library, currently on this device it's off. Uh, but photo stream is on uh, so what that is doing is when you take a photo it's sharing it with the other devices so you take a photo on your iphone it comes up on your ipad having these options set like this will mean that when you plug it into the pc via the usb cable you'll see a pop-up come up and it'll say well it'll give you some options one of the easiest is just to say open device to view the files and you can see now we have a listing under the computer of particular iPad name, internal storage, then there's a folder called DCIM, and under that, a lot of nonsensical uh, names, and under each one of these are all the individual JPEG files, and indeed, we have one video on the device, and under this one, we have a video. So you can get direct access to copying uh, your JPEG uh, photos and your movie files uh, from your phone or iPad straight onto the PC. If you have the option iCloud Photo Library turned on, like, uh, there's two more options that appear, optimizing the phone storage or download and keep originals. Now if you want your videos and photos to appear on your PC when you plug in your iPhone to your PC, you have to have this option ticked, download and keep originals. Uh, it's very confusing when you click, which I think might be the default, when you click Optimize Phone Storage. And um, what that does is um, keeps most of your photos and videos on iCloud, not on the device, which means when you plug the device into your PC, uh, although a window will pop up allowing you to see the contents of your phone, which is actually very little inside the DCIM folder where you normally find all your photos and videos. And so uh, if you want to go down that route to transfer or copy photos and videos, click the option, download and keep originals. Um, if however, uh, you're short of space on your phone and you'd like to have the option optimize phone storage, then there's one more way that you can transfer photos and videos um, from your um, iCloud uh, web page. You bring up a web browser, Internet Explorer for instance, and go to iCloud.com and it'll ask you to log in with your Apple ID and password. So this is your normal email and password you use to log into the App Store on your phone or iPad. When you log in, you'll see this sort of screen um, with icons that are familiar to uh, iPhone and iPad users. And um, you can look at your photos within this app. It might take a while for these photos to come up but actually is your photos and videos uh, that you've taken on your device and are actually on the iCloud all on this web page. So they will all be on here if you've clicked the option for iCloud photo, iCloud photo library under your uh, settings which basically says store everything uh, on the iCloud and you will then get every picture and video. Um, so another way of transferring these pictures and videos actually onto your PC is to select the option select photos or video in this case I think we'll have the video like so select the option for downloading then at the bottom of the screen a pop-up should appear and say do you want to save it or not so we'll select save oh. couldn't be downloaded hmm. okay retry Resuming, restarting, that's better. See a little hiccup there. 54%, obviously a reasonable size of movie to download. Download has been completed. Open folder. And there is our movie on the PC. Um, it does seem to be occasionally a little bit buggy, but uh, it does allow you to select more than one photo. For instance here. But sometimes, uh, well very often, 
only one or two photos will come down rather than all the ones you selected so uh, it's best to uh, do it one at a time I guess which then is a little bit laborious let's just show that bug yeah so there it's just downloaded one of the photos so a much more uh, efficient way of getting your videos and your photos onto your PC is to go into settings iCloud and then photos and make sure uh, this option is selected uh, download and keep originals if you've got the iCloud photo library on then when you plug into the PC you'll get this pop-up recurring and you can just select the option to open device and view the files And these are all the weird file names, so you just have to look in each one of these. And here you will then see all the different folders, all of the different uh, pictures and movies as well. And then you can just do a copy on these and move them to another location on your PC. Uh, what you won't be able to do is uh, delete them, I don't believe, because of the protection on the iPhone. So you'll have to actually do the deleting on the phone itself. but. At least you can do some group uh, copies uh, into uh, different parts of your PC. Uh, next thing that we need to talk about is setting up the iCloud software actually running on your PC. You go under the iCloud.com web page, get to the stage, go under settings. And you see at the bottom it says install iCloud for Windows on your PC. And you can download the latest version of the software. So you can have iCloud, which we, it is running on this PC. So we go to uh, the options over here on Windows 7. Got an I icon for iCloud. So you can see that. And we'll say open iCloud. That iCloud is running. And there's various options for photos. Let's see what the options are. Photo stream. Okay, so anything in Photo Stream has been on the computer. And here's the location where the photos are stored. So it's basically under uh, My Pictures iCloud Photos. So here we have in Windows File Explorer, under Desktop Libraries, Pictures, My Pictures, we now have a folder called iCloud Photos. And we have My Photo Stream. And here we are. Here's all the pictures from your iPhone or iPad. Now what it doesn't seem to transfer is the uh, videos. But uh, it's probably just as well because the video is going to be rather large. And you really want to have manual control over the videos and transfer them individually like we showed earlier on. Uh, it's a little bit confusing of course because uh, now it's called, called iCloud Photos. Uh, once upon a time we did used to have a different folder which yeah, there's an old one which used to be just under my pictures uh, photo stream is that one there uh, which at the moment is empty but it's got an old shared folder under it so uh, the names of these things have changed over time which is how the confusion comes along but the uh, current names are iCloud photos and then photo stream or you could also download by going into each video selecting the download option looking for the pop-up box at the bottom and select save and you see the file downloads kill off that window and move on to the next one and similarly download goes to all your videos that way Maybe a fashion faster. Still have to do one at a time to make it reliable. So let's just go over those options again. Uh, if you want a folder on your PC, something like this, which is for my phone that's plugged in at the moment, that says uh, Jonathan's phone internal storage, then DCIM, and these are all the folders on the iPhone that actually contain uh, the pictures. If you actually want them to contain like in this case, 
all the real pictures and movies that are on your phone, then you either, coming back to the options, have to have the iCloud Photo Library off, or if you do turn that option on, then there's a few more options that come up. By default it says optimize pad storage. What you've got to do is select the other option which is download and keep originals. That keeps the files on the actual phone or iPad and therefore the folders that you see when you plug it into the PC you actually see all of the pictures and videos and can access them in order to copy them onto your PC. Um, so those are the two options, either that off or when it's on, so either that the top option off or when that option is on make sure you say download and keep originals. It gets dead confusing when you have the optimized iPad storage because you only seem to see a few of the files on your PC folder. A uh, quick amendment if you're wanting to upload photos from your PC to your iPad or iPhone um, you can put the photos in this upload folder under the iCloud folders the iCloud Photos uh, folder location and uh, those uh, pictures will move on to your um, iPad but only if you've got the iCloud Photo Library option turned off it will then appear on your device in a directory called uh, PhotoStream if you've got the iCloud Photo Library uh, turned on so all your photos on the iCloud then uh, it doesn't uh, seem to upload so the best and probably only option then is to use the iCloud web interface where we go onto our photos look for an option which is upload select a few photos and they have to be uh, JPEG files uh, can't be PNG files that are acceptable for photo stream so it then says uploading four items, sliding bar, and we then get pictures uploaded onto the iCloud, which then should come down onto your devices. So relatively easy. In terms of what you see of the iTunes program on your PC, uh, so up here we have our little symbol for our phone. There we go, which shows we're connected to the PC. Uh, you tap on that with the uh, mouse cursor and you get some of the options. Tap on photos and then you'll see this option to uh, sync folders and you can optionally upload photos from a folder that you select by selecting sync photos, choosing a particular folder and once you've done that you might want to put some photos in that actual folder on the PC. Uh, you then click uh, apply underneath here and um, the um, PC will then synchronize with your phone or iPad and upload those photos or videos um, onto your device. Uh, in fact there's the option for including videos at the bottom if you click that and then you can also put uh, videos onto your iPad. Very useful if you're going to do video editing using iMovie on your iPad or even on your phone. Uh, you, you won't see this option if you have, coming back to the iPad again, if you have the option that, here we go, that says iCloud Photo Library. Now if you turn that on, all you will see under Photos up here is just a message saying iCloud Photo Library is turned on and some other instructions. Uh, you will not be able to um, sync using iTunes pictures and videos from your PC. So to make it easy, uh, if you're wanting to move videos onto your iPad for iMovie editing, then turn this option off. And um, that's the best way to go. I quite like the iCloud system, um, by the way. I've not really uh, really have too much of a problem with it. It just makes it a little bit more of a pain for moving uh, videos and uh, photos uh, onto your device. Just one more thing to be aware of, by the way, um, that if you turn off, of course, iCloud Photo Library, then 
your previous photos will stay in the iCloud, i.e. on the internet at the Apple servers, uh, but can get cleared out from your device, uh, especially when you upload a new file uh, from your PC with the iCloud photo library turned off then you lose all of the previous uh, pictures that you had that uh, was a bit like PhotoStream but it was the iCloud setting. So um, pros and cons to it. Um, I think I would be inclined to have iCloud Photo Library on for most of the time so that all of your photos um, get uploaded to the web but maybe on the device where you're actually taking the photos and videos uh, use the option which is, uh, let's bring, that, let's bring that up again. Which is the option on perhaps your phone to download and keep originals. All right, that's it. Hope it makes a bit more sense. Still a bit uh, mind boggling, uh, but I'm sure you'll get your head around it eventually. Okay, thanks for watching me again. Bye.